Hello and welcome to what's hopefully going to be a quick review of the Grip Equipment CX-1 backpack. Uh, this is kind of one of their smaller bags, it's not going to have the most uh, disc storage in it, but I think for what it is, it's actually still really good. So, uh, starting out storage-wise, I think in the main guts here, you're going to fit about 15 comfortably. If they're more drivers, you might get that 16th one in there. For me, I just don't feel like I need a ton all the time, even at some of the bigger courses. Uh, just. Yeah, I, I didn't really want a lot, and then save a bit of money there if you don't have one of these bigger ones, because they're pretty expensive. Um, I believe at like 190 US dollars and 270 Canadian, so yeah, I, if I could save some money and like have less storage, that was fine by me. So, about uh, 15 in the bottom. The top, which would usually be for your putters, I'll usually put in like a, my throwing putter and then like a zone or something just up top. And then I use this front storage for my actual putting putter. You could, however, just put whatever your main stuff is up here. Uh, it fits about two in here and one in there if that's what you do. Otherwise, this pouch is good just for storing things like a phone or a wallet as well. Um, this top pocket, too, is actually also pretty cool because there is a, a drawstring in the bag here. You can change the height of the discs in there. So if I've let it all the way out now, they fall in completely. And then how easily can I do this? I pull up on the drawstring, then the discs can sit higher. That's a cool little concept if you want them in. Maybe it's raining too and you don't want them popping out, then you can have them sucked in. Otherwise, if you want quick access, they're right there. So that, I think, is very cool. Uh, then going into this storage that does Velcro back there, um, we'll get into one of my first gripes, which is storage thing here. This insert, despite the cost of the bag, is not something that comes with it. This is another 15 US dollar accessory, which is unfortunate given the price of these bags that you would then have to buy what I think is pretty common in the majority of bags out there is the dividers. Um, after already spending this much, spending a little bit more is not the end of the world, I guess, but it's, it's weird that it's almost an afterthought. For me though, playing some uh, courses that have, uh, just, you know, the shorter courses or whatever, having just quick, storage in the middle so I can just take like four or five discs out and they're not just flopping around or falling over was something I really wanted so I did it buy it as well but it's also I think one of the downsides that you don't just get this with it and it's cool too because you can adjust the shelves on it or the the sides here so you can have just one divider in there you could have bigger in the middle or whatever you want to do just to divide your bag up a little bit and make it more organized it is really cool, it's just kind of a bummer. Going into other storage, and I'll kind of stick with the downsides. There's a pocket up here. On this bag in particular, it's not big enough for a disc. Um, so for me, that's where I would normally put my phone, but just the nature of how it leans forward. It has dropped my phone out before, um, which again, is a little bit unfortunate. When I'm using this for my putter and that's got discs in it, your choices for where you put your phone if you're doing the score is in there or in one of these side pouches. Now that's stuffed with something right now, so it does fit pretty good in here, but generally it's, again, pretty loose. I would have liked if this, or especially this one, since it doesn't even fit a disc, if that was elastic, so whatever you're putting in there is at least held in a little bit better would be great. We'll get off some of the negatives for now. We'll go back into some of the good stuff. This, like I said, is stuffed already. These side pouches are the same, but they have, um, essentially it's like hamster cheeks or squirrel cheeks or whatever. They even get all this extra storage out of them. So for me, living in Calgary, the weather's all over the place, especially in the fall and spring. So being able to store those layers is fantastic. And this fits like my biggest, thickest hoodie is my pure hoodie. And in fact, that can stuff in there is great. These also have little inserts inside, so if you put something in here, you don't want it just loose in the pouch, you can store things. Again, like your phone, if you're not doing score or whatever, that can then sit up there at least, and that's all good to go. That is there, more likely I'd be putting minis in that pocket. And then the pouches for your water are really good. I haven't stuffed anything super fat, it doesn't feel the biggest, um, but it fits everything I use, so I haven't noticed it to be an issue yet. This back pouch is actually really cool. So in the padding, 
if you want wallet or valuables to be in there, that's also another cool spot to put them. The padding while we're at it is really nice. It's softer than some of my old bags. And the straps all have this cool Velcro, uh, like wrap around thing. So whenever you do them up to however tight you want it, same with these straps, you put the Velcro around it and it locks it in. So it never comes loose or gets uh, stretched out or whatever. That I think is also very cool. And then again, this side, it's a complete mirror image, same thing, pouches, pockets, and so on. I also really like the way that you can customize what is otherwise a pretty basic bag. It's just, mine's just black anyways, but you can put patches on there and make it more your own. These are just iron-on patches and I've got Velcro tape on the back, so. Yeah, pretty easy just to make it look a bit more custom to you. There are hooks and stuff, so you could be putting key rings. Uh, normally I'll lock on a towel there. Um, I haven't really made use of this. It's another thing, I guess if you had, I don't know what you'd be putting in here that you'd then want to strap in. Because it kind of comes up the side here. Maybe a retriever stick could be fitting in there. I've not really used that to be honest. I forgot it was there, if I'm being completely, totally honest. Getting into a gripe, I'm gonna need to probably do some overlay for this just so you can see what I'm on about. I'll start with my old bag here. This is my commander bag, dynamic discs. Um, it has the feet on it, but they screw into the bag and what you've got left in here is uh, the screws kind of poking up. Now it's flat, but it's still poking up and this like material just slowly gets worn by the friction of the screw on it. So I've duct taped over, even that's kind of ripping, but it's making a hole in the material and that's not really anything you can do to fix um, once it starts to break, so. This also has feet, but it has, under its liner, you can feel where the screws come up and it is a lot sharper feeling than even that bag. So if that bag got a hole in it from screws that aren't as sharp, this one has at least three screw heads. Again, flat, but just sharp on them. I'll have to do my best to film in here, like I said, but I've just got like bottle lids, bottle caps on top, taped down to prevent it from rubbing because if that liner gets destroyed, I don't know if they're, like the, the lifetime warranty is on this bag, so maybe they would cover that, but it's a weird one. Again, given the price tag to have that, that to me that's a, just a design flaw. Getting past like things not being elastic or whatever, and that that is just going to damage itself. Why those screws don't have like a cap over them already, or have been like filed down better? Like I said, there's six things that are just going to be rubbing that, and they're going to break the liner. So that's the look at the grip equipment bag. Uh, I was actually lucky enough to have a uh, a gift card for a store, so I got mine slightly reduced. It is a hefty price to to pay uh, on the market. There's certainly a lot of other amazing bags. Even my old bag is not terrible. I just found it kind of rough on the straps and kind of a bit heavier than I needed at this point and I wanted less discs going on. And would I recommend it if you could get it when it's on sale? I think that would be a good time to go for it. Otherwise, you know, shop around, see what else is on the market. Know what you want for storage too because again, this one is certainly one of the smaller ones. If you're trying to fit 20 odd discs, this isn't really gonna do it. You can't really stuff discs in the side either, so it is whatever you get in there. And if you've got more mids or those chunkier discs, then that 15 storage that I was talking about is probably gonna be less. Um, and if you have the insert too, then you're obviously losing some space just by having that. So I, I like it a lot. Despite the shortcomings, I've obviously taped cap lids in there, so mine shouldn't be getting holes in it or anything like that. Um, I do love this bag, but you've gotta, make note of how expensive they are, even the smaller ones, and that it does have a couple of those little issues with it, so things just to look out for given the price. Like I'd probably give it like 8 out of 10 still, all things considered. I hopefully you enjoyed that, it helped it all, and we'll see you in the next one.